you ready? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go? Hello, this is Mr. T with our second in our series on sequences and series. And today we're going to be talking about arithmetic sequences and series. The way we recommend, uh, recognize that a sequence or a series is arithmetic is that when we compare adjacent terms, we have a common difference. Uh, for any arithmetic sequence, we can write the explicit rule for the sequence using this formula here. So we'll be using this. So it's the first item in the sequence plus the common difference times n minus 1. And then we'll be simplifying this expression to get our final rule. Some of the examples we did in the uh, first video were arithmetic sequences, but we didn't, at that time, I didn't give them that name. So let's look at some examples. So we've got a couple things that we want to look at here. We want to determine whether it's arithmetic. Again, that's going to be asking, does it have a common difference? If not, then it will not be uh, arithmetic, and we will work on uh, those types uh, in a later video. If it is arithmetic, then we're going to write the uh, formula for the um, arithmetic sequence, and we're going to find the indicated term. So let's look at our first example here. So going from here to here, we are subtracting 4. Here we're subtracting 4, we're subtracting 4. So we have a common difference. Our common difference is negative 4. So our explicit formula would be a sub n equals 15, that's a sub 1, minus 4 times n minus 1. We want to distribute that so that we can simplify. So I'm going to distribute the negative 4 and combine like terms. So this is our uh, explicit rule for this first sequence. Uh, arithmetic sequences will always have a linear equation for their um, explicit form. So now we want to find a sub 38. And we are going to put 38 in for n. So I've popped up a calculator here so that we can uh, calculate our number. And we get negative 133. So again, if we continue this sequence out till we got to the 38th term, it would be that number. All right, let's look at um, example two here. So going from here to here, we're adding 12. And going from here to here, we're adding 20. So this is not a common difference. Therefore, this is not an arithmetic sequence. Now, there is probably some pattern here that we could find, uh, but uh, we're not going to worry about that uh, in this lesson. Here we're subtracting 5, so our common difference is negative 5. So our explicit formula will be 15 minus 5 times n minus 1. Let's simplify that. So that's our explicit rule. And now let's find our 35th term, as was requested. And let me pull the calculator back. And we get negative 155. So I think you get the point. We'll um, skip this next problem. You can see that we're subtracting 30, subtracting 30. So on this one, the a common difference is negative 30, and we could 
uh, write all the other information. Okay, this time we're given uh, different information and we want to uh, again write the explicit formula. Um, so in this time for when n equals 16 we get that uh, value. So a sub 16 will equal a sub 1 plus d times 16 minus 1. So if we substitute in the numbers we have, because what we need to find to write the rule is the first term. So we can multiply here the 15 times the 200. And we are going to add that to the other side. So we're going to have negative 3025 plus 3000, which we know is going to be negative 25. So a sub 1 equals negative 25. So now we can write the rule plugging in a sub 1 and our d and leaving n as a letter. And now we can simplify. and our explicit rule would be that. So let's look at one here with a fraction, just makes the math a little messier. And in here is nine, so we get eight here. So we have 107 over 30 this is going to be 8 thirds, so if I get a common denominator, that would be 80 thirds. Subtract it at the other side, so we've got 27 over 30 is a sub 1, which is, those are both divisible by 3, so we have 9 tenths. And now we could write our explicit formula. and distribute the one-third. And we need to combine like terms here, so we need to get it back to 30th, so that's going to be 27 thirtieths, and this will be minus 10 thirtieths. So that gives us uh, 17 thirtieths plus one-third n, and that is our explicit formula. So we've talked about sequences, so now let's talk about series. So again, a series is the sum of a bunch of terms, and in this case, a sum of terms that are arithmetic, meaning they have a common difference. And again, this is our formula for the nth term. And to uh, calculate the finite sum of the first n terms of a uh, sequence. We may have a series. We can use this formula here. What we're doing here is we're averaging the first and last term. That's what this calculation is. And then we're multiplying that by the number of terms. So we'll look at some examples on the next page. There was one here, but we'll look at some similar to your exit tickets. So here we want to find s sub 8, so that's going to be 8 times the first term, and now we need the eighth term. So to do the eighth term, we could either continue this out, or we could write the formula. So the formula for a sub n is the first term plus our common difference, which is 10 times n minus 1. So we need to know a sub 8 and 8 minus 1 will be 7, so we get 77. So we have 8 times, this was going to be 84 over 2, which is 8 times 42, so we get 336. 
So again, if we added up eight of these terms, we would have the number 336. So let's look at an example here. This time we're given uh, part of the series and we are given a sum and we want to know how many terms made up that sum. So in this case we are plugging in the 275 for S sub n. We don't know n, our first term, and now we need a formula for A sub n. That's going to be 10 plus our common difference here is 3. So if we simplify that, we get 7 plus 3 in. All over 2. Now you might see here we're going to end up with a quadratic equation here. Uh, we're going to simplify here, but I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of that fraction. Remember from when we did rational uh, equations. So we get here uh, 550. And on this side we have n times, and this is going to be 17 plus 3n. And we'll distribute. And now we have a quadratic equation. And we could either try to factor that or we can use the quadratic formula. So let's just do that. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. So let's calculate the radical part. So we've got, uh, this was 17 squared. 17 squared, oops. Uh, minus 4 times 3 times negative 500. And I think I've made a mistake here because this should have come out to be um, a perfect square. And I just see here now I made a mistake here. This was 550. So this is 550, 550. So let's edit that. Okay, now we got 83 there, good. Now we want the one that's going to be a positive number because n is going to be a positive number, so we're going to use the plus here. So we've got negative 17 plus 83. Let's add that together, divide that by 2, and we get 33. So based on this problem, it took 33 of these terms to add up to be this number. Our last problem here is to evaluate a arithmetic series. Now we know this is arithmetic because this is a linear equation and all linear rules for explicit rules will be a, an arithmetic sequence. So to calculate this, we're trying to calculate S sub 10 because we're starting at 1 here. And to do that, we'll use our formula for the sum. So it's going to be 10. Now we need to know a sub 1. So I can plug 1 into here. So that's going to be negative 6. And we need to know a sub 10. So we have 60 minus 12, or 48. So we've got here negative 6 plus 48 all over 2. So we average those two numbers. So here we get 42 divided by 2 is 21, and 10 times 21 is 210. So that is this sum without having to write these out. So remember in last lesson we plugged in n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10 and physically added those numbers. If we know this is an arithmetic series, we can take advantage of our formula 
for the sum of the first items to calculate that and save time. Especially if this was a big number, if this was like a hundred or something, there's no way you would want to list out all those numbers and add them up. So good luck on your exit ticket and see you around. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready?